Wee wee you 16 alarm fire. Get in. Buckle in, nit witches, because we got a wild ride. Bro, listen to what this fudging man said. Because a lot, of, if you fly over these areas that are burned to the ground, you'll see in the midst of 20 homes that are just totally destroyed, one home sitting there because it had the right roof on it. And anyway, since I took off a lot, if you fly over these areas that are burned to the ground, you'll see in the midst of 20 homes that are just totally destroyed, one home sitting there because it had the right roof on it. And anyway, since I took off as FEMA's provided Texas alone, because a lot of, if you fly over these areas that are burned to the ground, you'll see in the midst of 20 homes that are just totally destroyed, one home sitting there because it had the right roof on it. Okay, we're all hearing the same thing, right? It had the right roof on it. Joe, what's the right roof now? I'm gonna need to know. Is it a color? Is it a color, Joe? It couldn't have anything to do with any of these freaking lazy we keep hearing about, right? You remember how everyone was like, oh, Blue roofs, they were fine. Oh no, they're those are conspiracy theorists. Here, actually, look, this is what has confirmed everything for me, is this story right here. <laughs> here is one of the reasons why I think this is true. <laughs> here is a second reason why I think this is true. Because the AP said uh, that's definitely not what it is, okay? We're gonna look at some other things about why I'm concerned about this, right? Yeah, dude, look at this shit. Look at this. Iron beam. High energy lazy weapon. What the hell? What do you mean a lazy weapon? Numerous types of interceptors. Speed of light. Unlimited magazine. Negligible cost of interception. Raphael is currently developed. Dude. Yeah, what's this? Directed energy weapons. Such as lazy. Use energy fired at the speed of light. These weapons can produce force that ranges from deterrent to damaging to destructive. Anyone who's like, oh, yeah, space lazy. Haha, <laughs> blue things, yeah, that it doesn't do blue. Laser weapon bot can be programmed for different wavelengths. <laughs> There was something blue they didn't want to burn. Blue car did not burn in flames. Same as the blue umbrella. Dude, this is it. A hundred percent. Okay, well, apparently we need to paint our roofs blue. <laughs> Dude, what a nightmare. These people are monsters. How about we shoot their satellites out of the sky? How about that? <laughs> but yeah, boys, we aren't panicking. We aren't freaking out. We aren't doing the, the, the paper towel thing or the toilet paper thing. But I think that we should probably think about where our 100 foot blue tarps are. Should probably get them staged somewhere. I mean, if, you, if you're if you ready, you could put it up, you know, weight it down, cinch it down with some ropes. If you're ready for people to be like, what the hell are you doing? And if you're not, just get an eye of where it is. Look into blue paint, maybe, but I feel like a tarp is our easiest solution, right? Because afterwards, we definitely don't want to be associated with these I-word people, right? We don't want them to think that we're doing, like, you know. But, dude, we gotta think about this stuff, right? Okay, so the top of, of Little St. Jeff's isn't blue, but a bunch of stuff is blue there. Yeah, I don't know, dude. But better safe than sorry, right? If you've got a hundred foot tarp, get it ready. Get a little rope. You could probably find it in a buy nothing group, honestly. People throw them all out all the time. People cover dumpsters with them and stuff. I don't know. But dudes, we got this. We're good. We're all set, baby. We know what they're doing. So we're going to wait for some of our lazy people to, to give us ideas. Maybe there's an easier solution. Maybe they'll be like, oh, if you just wipe bleach on it. Wait, that sounds like something Trump would say. You know, like maybe there's something that we don't know about. You know, maybe white is okay. I don't know. But we don't want to cause a blue paint panic because I feel like a tarp works just as easy. Then you don't have to paint your house blue. But let's see. Let me know what you guys think. <laughs> And stop adding to this video, nitwitches. It's gonna be forever. I might never release it. But look, this week when Joe Brandon saw Marjorie Taylor Greene, this is why he was shocked. He said, oh, she knows about what we're doing. The Z word, space lazy. <laughs> I'd be a winner, not really. I... Bro, this is Weekend at Bernie's. Weekend at Bernie's is currently happening in front of our faces. <laughs> Lincoln, Lincoln, say her name. <laughs> who? Michelle Obama? Lincoln Riley, an innocent young woman who was killed. 
by an illegal. What? Dude, I couldn't bring myself to watch the State of the Union. Do you see what they're doing? Oh yeah, it's the illegals. <laughs> the illegals are causing all the problems. The illegals are who hasn't given me a raise in 40 years. <laughs> The illegals are why we let billionaires wealth hoard. The illegals are why we let a cult take over NASA <laughs> and our government. <laughs> Bro, do you guys see? They are the same team. They say, look at the poorest amongst you. It's their fault. <laughs> the result was a bipartisan bill with the toughest set of border security reforms we've ever seen. <laughs> What the actual hell? Who is this? Which Brigham Young University student is this? Get him out of here. <laughs> Dude, anyone who looks like this? Jail. <laughs> Blonde hair, blue eyes, jail. I think I got green. I think I'm okay. But, dude, honestly, jail me. I, I look too close. You have to jail me. Jail everyone who looks like me and Austin and Dante. <laughs> you have to. I'm telling you guys, it's the only way. <laughs> dude, I just saw one of Dante's videos he's working on, and I can't believe I didn't do this already. But just imagine that the rest of this video, I'm wearing this beautiful conspiracy cat dad hat. Imagine, like, for the rest of the video, I'm wearing it. Because after this, you will never see see me without it on <laughs> look at how cute it is okay maybe you don't have to jail me and dante specifically but everyone else who looks like us jail instantly instant jail <laughs> but yeah it's just us we're just two cute little boys not little boys peter we're not little boys peter teal i didn't mean it like that i didn't mean to get you excited but peter we know we have it on t-shirts we know we are a fed dog you know like stop doing what you're doing what happened to your boyfriend <laughs> i gotta know he got so sad he jumped off of your balcony why would he do that why wouldn't he just leave you that's what i would do instantly i will i'd never be around you but you know what i mean but yeah me and dante forever oh you don't like that bill huh that conservatives got together and said it was a good bill oh dude he's such a clown such an embarrassing clown bro here we go this is what i really wanted <laughs> She knows about the lazies. Oh, he, dude, he just swerved Marjorie. Dude, we need to clear Marjorie's name. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Real life is awful. It's getting fun at least now because we have officially jumped the shark as human beings. Let's see this jump scare once more. God, dude, real life is fake. Real life is not real. <laughs> Who's this ghoul? Look at all these monsters. Ghouls, ghouls, ghouls. Brother, shameful. This man, that is a Tesla Autobot right there. <laughs> okay guys, this is the last episode I'm gonna do for a while, but it should be a pretty good one. It's things that did not burn during the fire. I went through hours of footage and it was pretty interesting what I found. Here are the famous umbrellas. These are actually Tommy Bahama umbrellas. But yeah, this freaking guy, he's in Lahaina, right? He was taking videos. He has visual proof of this. Blue things didn't melt were the fire so you can see what they actually used to look like not very different now and then the sole that surviving car. car on front street in front of the outlet mall and i actually found another sole survivor car the other direction that's a little bit further south on front street which i didn't notice at the time but here it is right here you can see it on the left in this frame here anyway i'm gonna just roll some of this footage most of the, the blue, this is unreleased. It doesn't really work blue. that well with TikTok because this is all shot in 16.9, but uh, I, I've got hundreds of gigabytes, uh, many, many hours of footage, both on the ground and in the air. Blue so house. all of that footage again has been uploaded to a friend in an undisclosed The freaking blue sky didn't even melt. <laughs> location, they then copied all of that data onto a 256 AES encrypted hard drive and then physically took it to somebody else. Uh, so if- Okay, look at the tires. But, 
the wheels of these cars are the aluminum and stuff or whatever has so melted like that is constant high radiation or something like fires don't just make aluminum melt like that it needs to be constantly heated i could hear the tone in their voice i mean these people certainly were not my friend he's getting harassed go figure and i just want to speak look at the uh and, and see so that? i want to kind of that's aluminum from the tires you guys what melted. To expect. bro when a car lights on fire like a car a random car just lights on fire do the wheels melt like that i don't feel like i've ever seen that like that has to be constant like they dude it's like they put a freaking fork in the microwave me moving forward probably were just saying that so they could create a situation look at this where blue house um but the truth is i really have made no money whatsoever on any of this and none of this has been meant to be political. I'm not that political of a person, but I do strongly believe in- But dude, does it also look like they literally had- It's like redlining. This is the new redlining. They just redlined the shit out of Lahaina. They got rid of all the neighborhoods that they didn't want, where Oprah wants to put her new land, and Zucky, I'm sure. Who else? The Rock. <laughs> They're like, we're going to make a zoo for you guys and put you in it. <laughs> Seriously, though, this is redlining. This is, dude, this is just human displacement for land grabs. That's what it looks like. That's what it feels like. In the First Amendment, I think that with situations like this, people should be able to say what they want to say about it. They should be able to report it without being intimidated, without uh, people trying to stop them and suppress them and without the, the government interfering. And I believe that people should have freedom. And I really, really strongly believe that's under attack right now. Bless. And no matter what your political ideology is, you should care about that. That Absolutely. should matter to you and you should do your part whatever that is and that's all i'm trying to do here is do my part you're doing and it. it was it was very evident to me <clears throat> early on that nobody else was going to do this guys this is what i always say i think that someone is investigating i think the fbi's got to be investigating all these people that are doing king traffics on king tong nope just dante and nicole if you expect something to be investigated it won't you need to do it. Investigate your local police department. That's what we all have to do right now, okay? This is what it's going to take, is us doing this. Dude, this is it. This is how we do it. We're all investigative journalists. We all have a piece of the puzzle. You know, we're scattered everywhere. We don't need a freaking agency. We don't need any agencies to, like, figure this out. We just need each other. We, we're all... all we're everywhere. We are the silent majority. Truly. It's us. So if we ever need someone to like look at something in Portland or whatever, you know, like we've got like a hundred journalists, like it doesn't matter if you're a librarian or a chef or whatever, you can be a journalist. You just have to care about the truth and have empathy and want to get to the bottom of it and you won't ever get paid off. That's what real journalists do. They stand up for something. They take a stand. They do not say, oh, well, you'll make my career go better. No. Journalists are supposed to be on the side of the people, always, and the side of truth, no matter where that takes them. But it's not like that anymore. Who knows if it was ever like that? There's been a couple people that have been, but you know what happens to them? They get cobained. They get bordained. <laughs> they get Shireen Abu, Abu Akhled. Dude. Musicians are journalists. Poets are journalists. Painters are journalists. All that shit is journalism, bro. Just... Say the truth of how you feel and what you see. That's it. And then do real journalism too. Go and investigate stuff safely. Go put pressure on these people. Guys, this is us. We are freaking running out of time. I think I'm drowning, asphyxiating. I wanna break the spell that you created. You will be. The death of us. Austin, you're going to be the death of all of us. What are you doing, bro? Think about what you're doing. You're going to be able to tell your grandkids about this shit and be proud of yourself, brother? The hell? You're nuts. Now, we goofed on Marjorie Taylor Greene talking about Jewish space lasers, which, agreed, is hilarious and not real. But what if there was a possibility of Nancy space lasers? Would you believe that? Tell me. If there was a person who was related to a Nancy and owned a company that was called Laser, and... <laughs> And he's, he was also like the world's youngest self-made billionaire. And he was also like a Suprema Pizza and ha 
he's on a podcast where he says things like, here, let's just show you the evidence. You know, what, what really like kind of blew my mind, I think, when I first uh, got introduced into nationalist politics uh, was that just it's the, the level of care that you have to have, you know, protecting your identity, uh, protecting others involved. But and what do we do, by the way? We grill. We hang out like um, <laughs> we're a bunch of cool guys. We grill. We just hang out. Uh, Twelve point eight percent of Atlanta is LGBT. Those sixty odd white folks are gays. I mean, I, I'm 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 doing I'm I'm doing fine, but there's a lot, oh, there's also a lot of uh... you're doing fine, Austin. You're doing just fine, buddy. You know, we're to go through and carry out something similar in downtown Atlanta. I I wouldn't shed too many tears nowadays. He's talking about if they if someone did Sherman's march under the law, of course. But yeah, this dude is a Nazi, straight up. He's too chicken to say it with his full chest. He'll only say it on his podcast with his widow anonymous, with his widow voice. He should have done it under a filter, dude. Look at this duo, this quadrilogy or whatever quintuplet. Look at all of us inglorious nitwitches. Anyway, what if? I told you that this guy had all those things I was saying. Look, Adler work. That was his great grandpa's sea camp in Nancy, Germany. Then his family went through the frickin' rata lines. Look, I think that might be, in my opinion, maybe Austin's uncle? That's weird. But yeah, dude, I think that maybe some of this stuff might be connected. What did he say one more time? If you fly over these areas that are burned to the ground, you'll see in the midst of 20 homes that are just totally destroyed, one home sitting there because they had the right roof on it. And anyway, since I took... Okay, so maybe not Jewish space lazy, but what if I told you that there was one of our favorite boys was possibly a Nancy and definitely related to one and definitely into the lazy business? What if I told you that? His name is Austy. He's our friend. Or he tried to buy Forbes with Mr. Beast and a Russian oligarch, and then they didn't. I don't know why. Anyway, do you want to know what this... Wait, let's show you the evidence first. Look, this is Austin's family tree. This is Austin. This is her, his uncle, Roger, who does trafficking on the internet uh, on Tink Tonk. And then if you go up here to his, what is it, great-grandpa, Heinrich Klier? He owned Adler Work, which was a car manufacturer. Look, they had a cool little building right there. Adler Work. And look, during World War II, do you know what they did? They used it as a camp. Different than the troubled teen camps, but similar vibes. <laughs> do you see that? Yep. And then, guess what? After World War II, Alan Dulles said, Hey, I've got a line for rats if you guys want to scurry. And what did our boy do? Mr. Clyer. Mr. Clyer said, dude, I'll do anything to be a Nancy. We got rid of an entire school of trans people, but how do I look? <laughs> dude, monsters, cowards and monsters. Yeah, so anyway, he's friends with Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast is a CIA plant. He's probably one of these two. If I'm a betting man, I think he's probably one too. Yes, I freaking do. You want to you wanna see something really weird? There was this blind item this week. It was about someone that we know. Okay, can we all read our blind item here? Traffic, traffic. What happens when you get a couple of billionaires, Mr. Teal with sexual perversions, and a couple of A-list celebrities, Sean Penn, who make a lot of more money doing the bidding of the billionaires than they do being a celebrity? You realize that the market in the U.S. is tapped out for the young men they crave. They had been doing business on that two-country island, Hispaniola, Dominican Republic, and Haiti. But there are too many STDs running rampant through the island because of all the sex tourism and the gangs don't even get me started on the cannibals so they have moved on and are now setting up in a country that is a huge transshipment point to the u.s the young men would do anything for these particular a-list celebrities so signing up for student visas by the dozens and then are shipped out literally on a ship to a northeast point and then essentially sold off yes it is something straight out of 300 years ago no women though these men just want other men hell yeah and that's what i be saying these freaking whammon God, these freaking women ruin everything. I'm so done with women. Ugh. If it was just all of us boys. <laughs> oh well. But yeah, guys, uh space lazy don't doesn't sound too out of the question. I don't like this guy, Austin. I don't like his family. I don't like any of his friends. 
I don't like anything about the guy, right? So I think we need to look into it. Did you see what his company's called? Do you see what the name of it is? What the fuck does that say? Hold on. I can't get any closer. Do you see what that says? <laughs> Smother it. I won't let you murder it. But our time is running out. Austin's gonna kill us all. Dudes, our time is running out, but it has not run out. But it's time for everyone to start doing their part. Scream about this. All we need to do is be the, what's the little Dutch boy? There are cracks in their wall of lies that we're starting to see a little light shining through. But what if we use a sledgehammer that was all of uh, the gossip and all of the, the drama and all of the, and all of the, you know, the blinds and all that stuff. What if we use that to crack the wall completely open, break the dam? We'll let all the rats out into the sunlight. It'll be incredible. All the vampires will be out and they'll have to find cover. They'll say, oh, where's my blue tarp? <laughs> In vampires. That's what they are, bro. Vampires are just the rich and the people who use and abuse us. They take our creative work and they say, this is mine. I own 95% of this in perpetuity throughout the universe idiot you don't even have a contract you poor it's a broken busted dumb system that needs to go it's only here to maintain the power of the few wealthy families that have everything already everything uh, bro literally <laughs> it's truly them it's peter teal it's peter teal laughing maniacally from his freaking New Zealand bunkie. He's in a bunkie, just threatening to shoot his color lazy all over the world. <laughs> what a loser. Dude, their space lazies ain't got nothing on us and our gossip, our tea. We are a bunch of drama girlies. We are a bunch of gossip girlies. You will never stop us. You will never stop us. Benjamin Fulford, our homie, he was talking in his Beyond Blue Blue report this week that Facebook and Instagram experienced a global outage uh, for two hours, but he thinks it's more of an ominous reason than what they're saying. They said it was just an error. He said, not long ago, mainstream reports began hinting at the potential for large solar flares to disrupt global internet communications, which I believe could mark the government's initial deployment of Project Blue Blue. Solar flare? or space lazy flare now this is a little cuckoo bananas but guys apparently the vatican all the weirdo like masons and stuff met in the vatican this week remember all these these heifers these heifers are all going from tejas to i word so they can slaughter them and start the apocalypse not joking not a joke that is not a joke from now on nothing i ever say is a joke <laughs> It's all serious. You're sending red heifers from Texas to manifest Armageddon, and you still have to pay taxes. The red heifer prophecy. The Christian fundamentalist seven mountain dominionist extremists that partnered with APAC and have been communicating with the White House are manifesting the end of the world and probably using our tax dollars to do it. So you still have to pay taxes. Heifers for Christ. This was written in 2006. They've been working on this since the 90s. John Hagee, he makes money writing about the end of the world through his giant Texas church and Christians United for Israel. The White House to personally lobby him, I guess you would say, to move the embassy to Jerusalem. I told him, I said, Mr. President, you are exactly at the point in history where Harry Truman was in 1948. I said in 1948, Israel became a state telling you that if you will, you will step into political immortality in Israel. And he listened very intently. We finished the meal and we stood up and he pointed his finger, forefinger at me like this and he said, other presidents have failed you, but I will not fail you. Weeks later, he announced Jerusalem to be the capital of Israel and brother, it shook the foundations of the nations.
Uh, yeah, because they're going to do the apocalypse to all of us. <laughs> but yeah, this continues the recurring theme of government worldwide orchestrating apocalyptic scenarios. Just look at films directed or influenced by left-wing figures like Hussein Obama, such as Don't Look Up and Leave the World Behind. The actors of these films, Kevin Bacon, Julia Roberts, uh, Jennifer Lawrence, are all voices for left-wing liberal propaganda. It's true. And what do we learn about the what the CIA did this week? Huh? What the hell is this? A plasma ball or something? Bro. We have to take this stuff away from these bad Nancys. But yeah, dude. I think Benjamin might be right. I see them orchestrating this. I see them doing what they're doing. You guys see it too, I think. <laughs> ah. Okay, now the world is all better. <sighs> I laid additional UAP sightings. It's not moving. They're not moving. It's fine for your helicopters. Just hovering like that, though? Bro, what the hell? For sure. This is what we've been seeing, right? Yeah. Here's some other things people noticed about Lahaina and the place in Chile where it, fire, it, it got lit on fire. Dude, that fire is insanity. That doesn't look like a normal fire. Holy shit, this situation just got a whole lot fucking crazier. As you can see, former Chilean President Sebastian Pinero dies in a helicopter crash at 74 just yesterday! But before we go any further, I want everybody to be aware of the situation at hand and why we're talking about Chile. This just so happens to be what majority of southern Chile looks like at this very moment. As a series of deadly wildfires that killed over 112 people ravaged through the areas of southern Chile. Now stay with me, okay, because this is the primary reason of why we're speaking about Chile and the wildfires. As you can see, thousands of homes were destroyed in flames, which swept through the hilly settlements around the resort town of Viña del Mar starting Friday, propelled by high winds. A regional state of emergency was declared and a nighttime curfew imposed. Well, ironically, the same energy institutions that just so happened to be involved with rebuilding Maui in quotations, just so happened to have their fourth LA conference on sustainable development of energy, water, and environment systems just on the 14th to the 17th of january 2024 in where Let's ironically go. if you look into as of why they're interested in vina del mar you might see here vina del mar is considered chile's top city to live in work in and visit and ranks second behind only santiago for education and then a whole bunch of other pros for the area as well and that doesn't seem to be the only article that seems to be talking about things like that now what's ironic is the company name Hits This is Dimples and Smiles for Life. Go follow him right now. Dude. Oh, oh, oh. Hachi just so happened to have a website just a couple months ago that just so happened to be deleted that clearly stated that Maui was supposed to be the first integrated S-M-A-R-T island. So that's pretty interesting and the reason why it's so damn interesting is because of this. Oh wow. You mean the S-M-A-R-T city business Chile headquarters are at where? Huh. And then if you just so happen to go to their summit website, you might find things like this. And has anybody gained notice as to of how many lithium mines are being built in southern Chile? I'm not laying claim to anything officially being true. But I hope I can at least connect the puzzle pieces for you a little bit easier. In the last episode, I just so happened to speak about a certain satellite that just so happened to be above Maui the day of the wildfires. Now once again, I'm not laying claim to anything officially being true, but the satellite just so happens to be owned by a company named CERN. CERN a couple years ago just so happened to declare that they discovered the fifth force of nature, which just so happens to be something called cosmic energy. And the cosmic energy may or may not be collected via satellite. And when it is, it just so happens to be able to produce a specific beam, but you can't actually say that word openly here on TikTok. But it's ironic because I spoke about in the last video as well that there has officially been a Space Force unit created just last year, right? That is designated to defending the nation against adversary satellites that are capable of producing ground-based what? Yeah, once again, can't use that word. But gosh, that really makes you think, huh? Did you know Jeff Bezos just last year just so happened to build a SMART hub in the middle of the waters in Greece? And the main two areas that just so happen to communicate via data with the hub are Athens and Larissa. Wait, Athens and Larissa just had their worst fire seasons to date. Oh man, wait, what? It's not hard to research into these matters for yourself, people. I mean, come on. So many people rely on mainstream- Bro, these people need to be stopped. There's no way this isn't it. This is it. Okay, so apparently uh, everyone's gotta paint their freaking roof blue or something. 
bro. No, we just got to get this out in the open. Dude, oh my god, these demons. Straight up demons. Dude, the guy who originated the Project Bluebeam theory, his name was Serge Monast. It concerns an alleged plot to facilitate a totalitarian world government by destroying traditional religions and replacing them with a new age belief system using NASA technology. This is so it. Look, they're literally killing the Muslim religion, right? I mean, they've bastardized the Christian religion so much that it looks like it's just for P-words. It looks like the only people who practice religion are P-words. <laughs> so yeah, that religion's dead. And then they're going to replace it with laser and levitation gods. In the early 90s, he started writing on the theme of the New World Order and conspiracies hatched by secret societies, being particularly inspired by the works of William Guy Carr. He detailed his claim that NASA, with the help of the United, States, United Nations, was attempting to implement a new age religion and the Antichrist at its head and start a new world order via a technologically simulated second coming of Christ. Also gave talks on the top. Dude, this is it. All the levitating shit and all the laser beams. Bro. This is so it. Oh, go figure. He died of a heart attack in December 1996 at the age of, at the super old age of 51. <laughs> the technology is on the engineering benches today, but most Americans and most in Congress have not had time to really look deeply at what's going on here. But I've had the benefit of 33 years of studying and becoming friends with these engineers and these scientists. This technology can be built today with technology that is not developmental to deliver any human being from any place on planet Earth to any other place in less than an hour, to deliver Wi-Fi from space where you never need a cell tower to connect, to deliver energy from space where you never have to plug your... So then why are you hiding it, you freaks? And you can use that energy over time. It can be applied to cars, to houses. The technology of Edison and Tesla that we live with in our energy environment, our paradigm today, the power of space, will change world power forever. And it doesn't have to be a big country to do it. It can be a small island country. Shut up, loser. Captivating video footage that appears to showcase the very same spacecraft we unveiled in photographs last week, a remarkable find that was reportedly recovered by the USSR back in the year 1969. This intriguing piece of history offers a closer dynamic look at an artifact that has sparked debates and curiosity among enthusiasts and skeptics alike. Bro, that's what looks like it's in those hangers at the frickin' like Lockheed or whatever. <clears throat> Bro, this looks real AF. Are they just shooting it? Bro. Bro, get closer with this goddamn camera. What are you doing? What is you doing, bro? Zoom. Bro, what is this? What the fudge? They gonna blow it up? What is that? Dude, nutbags. Cool shades. Dude, this is this is definitely real. <laughs> this is so real. Why isn't anyone trying to get in it though? Climb in there. Bring you to an assortment of videos capturing recently spotted UFOs. How do you figure that's a plane? That doesn't look like a plane at all. Yo, that's straight up a UFO. <laughs> Dude, the Mormons have UFOs. Get over it, everybody. <laughs> Dude, that's Warren Jeffs up there flying around. <laughs> 
Oh my god. Oh, a mothership oh, yeah, hidden in the clouds. Ooh. Yeah, Dios mío, for sure. <laughs> Dude, why can't anyone just get a perfectly zoomed in, that's a UFO, stop questioning it picture? I mean, it's, they're UFOs. There's no way all these are fake for the last hundred years. This stuff is crazy. Dude, it's like the, yeah, it's the same thing as in Greece. Oh my God, we're doomed. They're just, they're just trying to play God. They're so lame. Dude, this... A UFO cloaked in the clouds. That's. I can't see it. It's about. Oh, there it is. Oh my God! The aliens have attacked. <laughs> what is that? Uh, dude. What is this ring? It's just floating in the sky. This is some crazy stuff. What is going on, girl? And it's just sitting there. <laughs> what is that weird? Girl. Oh my God. Dude. Guys, don't worry. It's just our government. It's just our government. It's nothing cool. I think it's a bunch of Mormons. <laughs> Not cool. Dude, look at Nikola Tesla's 1928 UFO patent anti-gravity aircraft. Dude, I don't know. These fucking lasers. Listen to Mama Salem. Listen to the words that she's saying. Look at these Thousand lunatics. Miles. A massive altar already awaits where the heifers are to be burned. Texas Red Angus flying them 7,000 miles. To Dude, they're nuts. They're a cult. They are crazy. I'm sorry. They're a cult. And they're nuts and they're crazy and they have to be stopped. Guys, they're nuts. Do you see that freaking handicap ramp for the 7,000 heifers <laughs> that they're flying to Iward? This is not a, a long research we find in uh, Texas. Texas. Uh, yeah, yeah. Texas, United States of America. <laughs> According to some believers, the ceremony needs to be performed right here on the Mount of Olives, looking directly into where the temple once stood. I'm so exhausted. First and foremost, I'd like to point out that to anyone who thinks that they're practicing some type of traditional religion, like Christianity or Catholicism, y'all are just ripping off magic, okay? Yeah. First and foremost shitty magic That's a fucking magic ritual okay there's just no getting around it i'm sorry there's not you're literally making sacrifices and you're also making sacrifices to the old gods just for the record i don't find the scariest part of the idea that they are flying this red cow across the planet to sacrifice it. i don't find that to be the scariest part of this what i find to be the scariest part everyone going along with it and being like, yeah, let's film it. Let's send a news crew. <laughs> Part of this is that religious nutcases are at the helm of everything that's happening right now across the globe, and they're driving the human race to extinction. Whether or not you believe in anything spiritual, these people are performing evil deeds on a daily basis. And let me just put it this way. If your God requires human lives as a sacrifice, animal lives as a sacrifice, you probably need to sit down and ask yourself some questions about that God. Dude, I love Salem. She is the best. Yeah, dude. Nothing like cute mommies, am I right? Gotta love me a cute mommy. This is the first time in my life that I will admit that I hate that I'm right. Bro, Hebba. Me freaking too. I am so tired of being right. <laughs> I don't want to be right, guys. If I'm right, that's bad. I don't want to be right, ever. So Ryan Garcia, I'm sure a lot of people have already heard, is a famous boxer who in the past few days has been coming out and talking about how elites try to get him involved in a satanic ritual involving the graping of children. He is like tweeting away in panic. Anyone who has heard the audios can tell that he's terrified and swearing over and over that he's telling the truth. 
and has warned that they are going to paint him out to be crazy. For months, I have been saying the reason that these politicians and all of these celebrities are sh scared shitless of Israel, are so scared shitless of going against Zionists or speaking out about something that is probably kind of horrifying for them to see, is because they have evidence of all of this happening. Because they have evidence of them doing horrifying things. Even with all this Epstein stuff, I have been saying that they weren't just raping children. They were doing absolutely horrifying things that we can't even fathom. And Ryan Garcia went on to say that he watched them drink blood out of a child's... Yeah. I'm absolutely horrified because I know he's telling the truth. This should... Bro, I'm telling you, this should be real, I think. Okay, but don't fear, doodle bops, my little doodler bugs. We are, nothing is going to happen. We got them. We're going to figure out the tarp situation. We're not going to freak out. We're going to be fine. We're going to tell everyone about this. Tell all your friends. Tell everyone. The Luna Shark podcast always says to go out and spread sh sunshine, so that's what we're going to do. Not microwave beams, not laser beams, not anything that's dangerous and bad like these Nancys are. But keep your head on a swivel, friends. <laughs>